applied non-linear behavior. Very basic thing, but still I would like to, you know, tell you elaboratively. First one is, this is the deformation and this one is the force. Through this, you will see that, you know, there is a stress strain curve or the force versus deformation curve. Necessarily, the deformation is nothing but the strain and the force will be compensated as a part of the stress. The force upon area is the stress. So, as as we have discussed, uh, this is basically the stress strain curve. Also, some people they will call it as some people they will call it as the force and deformation curve. Now, at every junction, you will see that there would be the resistance. There would be the resistance. There would be resistance. There would be resistance. At some places, the resistance would be reduced, and then automatically you will see that the deflection has started. Deflection doesn't start at one go. It takes its own course, all right? It takes some time, it takes its own course, and based on that, actually, it starts. 